Pope Francis has a super serious and dire warning for all members of the church that we felt had to be shared with all of you. Even people of the cloth watch porn. Mm -hmm. And it's very, very naughty. Let's go to the slide. <laughs> Pope Francis, 85 years young, was responding to a question about how digital and social media should be best used. Because he's the person who should weigh in on it. <laughs> at a session in the Vatican, pornography said was, quote, a vice that so many people have, even priests and nuns. Mm. Surprising no one. Quote, the devil enters from there, the Does Pope he? told priests <laughs> and seminarians. He continued, and I'm not just talking about criminal pornography like that involving the abuse of children, that's already degeneration, but pornography that is a little normal. Dear brothers, be careful about this. Francis said porn weakens the priestly heart and that the pure heart, the one that Jesus receives every day, cannot receive this pornographic information. So apparently Jesus is receiving hearts every day. <laughs> He's got a chainy like heart and needs constant transplants. And he can't possibly take that with porn coming in. It's too confusing for Jesus. He's God and God's son. He can't handle a lot of extra information coming in, especially titillating information. And he gave some foolproof guidance how to avoid porn. The Pope, again, the expert on porn use and avoidance said, he advised the group to delete this from your phone so you will not have temptation in hand. Indeed. Apparently he does not understand how phones work. They've got something called the internet. You can't delete the internet from your phone. Not that I've ever looked at porn on a phone, but I've heard on good authority, it's in there. And you can't just delete the entire internet from your phone. He's not even a fan of technology in general, so why is he weighing in? Nobody knows, or digital communications at large. The head of the Roman Catholic Church recounted that he had once received a mobile phone when he became a bishop, which he used to make a single call to his sister and immediately returned it. So he didn't want to be tempted. He didn't want to be tempted. This <laughs> phone, just hearing a woman's voice through the phone, get it away from me, <laughs> devil be gone. Delete it, delete the phone. Okay, so we like Pope Francis. He seems like he's a good guy, yep. right? And I get it, popes are like anti-porn, got it, yeah. right? But come on, this is funny, guys. So he's like, no, you shall not do digital porn. Do not use the fingers. And then he's like, make sure that you do not have the phone in your hand. You're gonna need the hand. <laughs> Why are we having this conversation? And he's like, you only need one hand, by the way. You don't need both hands, technically. It's one of the benefits of mobile porn. So I've heard. Yeah. So, I heard. <laughs> so and then he's like, now the then Satan enters the lay women. You're like, eh, I, yeah, you're, I wouldn't getting have. a little turned on here in the Pope talk about <laughs> yeah. it. Yeah, and and he said, now look, I'm not just talking about the degenerative part. Uh, also, the normal. porn that's a little normal. Yeah, <laughs> everyday run of the mill porn. He <laughs> knows so much porn. He's got the wide range of porn, and he's he's faced some backlash for this, or more likely his team probably is. Questionable social media activity themselves. In 2020, the Vatican said it would look into how the Pope's official Instagram account appeared to have liked a Brazilian model's photo, an Ooh. incident that she quipped would help her get into heaven, or at least into the Vatican, that's for sure. <laughs> uh, likes of sexy pics on Insta, and much more importantly, decades of hidden sexual abuse by the Catholic priests. If you can put that aside, the church take sexual deviancy very seriously. Don't look at porn, don't have ways to release your sexual tension, bottle it up and then keep your children away, I guess. Yeah, I, I think that there, perhaps the child abuse is uh, infinitely, infinitely more serious. It's not even worth discussing the little normal porn. Um, I would have loved to have been reporter right there. Uh, sir, sir, Mr. Pope, well, I'm wondering what you think is a little normal in porn. Does lesbian porn qualify? Your holiness, your holiness, quick question. Am I allowed to look at POV videos or, or JOIs? What fetishes are allowed? What if I like men in white robes? Is it okay if I Google that? Okay, um, so is there a, a, a serious story here? Well, not really. <laughs>
<laughs> Usually I follow up with, yeah, but there's an important political or interesting cultural point here. No, look guys, but if there's one at all, it's that the Pope and Ben Shapiro have lost this battle. And why, why is he bothering me to put out a statement like that? You're only putting out a statement like that if you got caught, right? Like, and I don't mean Pope Francis personally, right? But somebody obviously is having some issues there at the Vatican, mm. and they've had some run ins with the porn people, right? Even the ones that are a little normal. Okay, I like the idea of Pope Francis, like, well, that was a little normal, a little boring, but yeah. let's get, hey, you don't have anything more interesting. He's like this. doing hot or not, he's got a hot or not button. He's like, nope, <laughs> yes, this one's fine. I'm directly communicating with God. But to, to one other little serious point there, again, it's, it's that's the problem when you have a dogma that you try to reconcile with the realities of everyday life is you're acting as though you can be a moral authority on what people's healthy or personal decisions are sexually when you have still not taken action to excommunicate every single member of the clergy that has abused children. You've just lost the right to say jack shit about that. Yeah, yeah, no, but back to the funny stuff. Oh yeah. Uh, I like your button idea, little normal. Not normal, little normal, <laughs> big normal, big normal, like that one. Sure, go ahead, show it again. <laughs> Who's the guy who has to regulate all this stuff? Yeah. Too? And I love your thing about the Jesus with the conveyor belt of hearts. And then he's like, what, oh, no, oh no, that one's got a little bit of porn. Wait, hold on. No, 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 no. <laughs> he's no, like I Lucille Ball with the conveyor belt of chocolates, just <laughs> right, trying like, to like, consume oh, no, all no, these hearts as soon as possible. <laughs> soon he's gonna be stomping in grapes to turn them into wine. <laughs> <laughs> it's pretty incredible. <laughs> it's gonna be just like Lucia Boy's like stuffing it in his hat. Why is he chiming in on this? What's his next piece of advice gonna be? If you do have sexual relations out of marriage, make sure you wear a little Pope hat downstairs. <laughs> Why are we talking about it's this? Unbelievable. Right? Look, he, the reason I mentioned Ben Shapiro is he wrote a whole book against porn, which I always, that's amazing to me. A book, an entire book, don't do it, no, I'm serious. Not a little normal, not a lot normal, don't do it. What's chapter seven? I don't know what chapter, okay, now look, I got into the foot fetish thing and don't do that either. Yeah. Don't do it, okay? The authority on <laughs> right. sexuality, the man who says about his own wife that she doesn't get very wet around him. That's his own words, I can't believe WAP is a thing people want. Isn't that gross, what you mean, turning women on? <laughs> I get that's not your strong suit, but are you railing against that now too, Shapiro? <laughs> what an he, idiot. Maybe the Pope's the only one who bought that book. Because all his fans <laughs> are like, oh yeah, black people so yeah, sure, to lower tax for the rich. Yeah, that's right. And no port. Wait, what? <laughs> no, 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 no. And then well, I'll be back in a minute though. <laughs> yeah. All right. Uh, so hey, look, he's in good company there. Thanks for watching the Young Turks. I really appreciate it. Another way to show support is through YouTube memberships. You'll get to interact with us more. There's live chat emojis, badges. You've got emojis of me, Anna, John, JR. So those are super fun. But you also get playback of our exclusive member only shows and specials right after they air. So all that, all you gotta do is click that join button right underneath the video. Thank you.